What is up YouTube and welcome to a brand new video. This is gonna be my first official Cold War video with the game being fully released. And I wanted to start it off with the settings video because I was struggling with the settings on PC because this is my first time I've ever been like a PC gamer. And uh, it's been tough to like figure out the best settings, but I think I got it down pretty well. If there's any updates, I'll make sure, I'm sure I'll make an updated video in a couple weeks to a month, depending on how things go. But I think these settings are the best possible settings you can have for PC. I'm also gonna tell you guys some settings for like the consoles, like PS4, and Xbox to help you out as well. So let me know if this video helps. Let me know which setting you change that completely changes the way the game feels for you because there are so many settings to go through, but I hope this can help you. Guys, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Without further ado, let's get right into the settings. Um, so first of all, I play with a controller. So this mouse stuff is all personal preference. I don't need to use this. Uh, this is literally just all mouse. So if you do play a mouse, you gotta, you know, Mess around with that a little bit, but controller gang here, controller gang, you'll love to see it. Then we got display mode. I play on full screen. Then my monitor, I just have one monitor connected. The 240 Hertz, very important to have the 240 Hertz and make sure you turn like your Nvidia 240 Hertz on your monitor as well. Cause if you don't do that on your monitor, you won't be getting 240 Hertz and it's an absolute necessity to get 240 Hertz. And then um, gameplay vsync disabled, disabled, uh, disabled a lot of the theme is disabling everything you want the most performance out of your PC to make the game um, Maybe not look the best but give you the best chance of getting more kills and doing better Because you don't want to have your PC just focusing on making the game look super beautiful unless you're into that stuff So we're gonna have a lot of stuff on low or disabled a uh, display resolution 1920 by 1080 aspect ratio automatic um Colorblind, this is all personal preference. I like how they gave you all these uh, things to choose from, but I don't play on colorblind. If I do one day, I'll let you guys know. Uh, field of view, I have it up to 110. On a PS4, I'm pretty sure I had this on like 90, just cause the PS4 is, it can't, it isn't capable of doing what the PC can do. So on PC, I like 110, affected as well. Cause when you're zoomed in on, and you play on independent, it zooms you in. Like you can see the picture to the left and you can't like see everything as wide. But if you look to affected, when you aim in, it doesn't like zoom your character in. So you can still have a wider field of view while you're aimed in, which I think is very helpful to like hold across or just get info or whatever it may be. My brightness, I have it on 50. Um, I think this is pretty solid. Sometimes I up to like 55, but I think 50 is a pretty good base for now. Frame rate limit, uh, unlimited. Texture and low quality, low. Model quality, low. Cause like all this stuff is like useless unless you're going around the map making like a montage. Cause like, yes, it looks good, but it doesn't actually do anything for the gameplay aside from looking good. And it takes up space on your PC and all that stuff. So you want, you want to keep all these like special effects, medium, screen uh, space reflection disabled, low. Shadow and lighting, low, low, dynamic shadows disabled. Uh, you want to pretty much have all shadows off because like I said, hurts the performance of the PC. And that's why all the PC gamers always have shadow off and always have a lot of their settings super low, at least like the pro players and uh, competitive players. So more shadows, all disabled you can see. Now this is an interesting one, the post-processing effects. I personally like balanced because it, what's it called? You can read right here, offers both optimized performance and image quality. Whereas you can like mess around and disable this and then have anti-aliasing on. This is all personal preference and it depends on your setup, your monitor, everything. So for the, be the best for me so far has been balanced. It's, that's felt the best for me, but you can mess around with that. There is no best setting for that because it, it's for each individual. It's not just one best setting all for everyone. So you have to find the best setting for you. So definitely mess around with the anti-aliasing and the NVIDIA DLSS. And the motion blur disabled, of course. Uh, motion blur quality low, of course. We hate motion blur, all my homies hate motion blur. Uh, disabled, disabled. And then pretty much gets down to the bottom of that. And then the audio, we have the 100 for everything except for music volume. Music volume is kind of annoying, so disable that. Um, Treyarch mix which is really good. I'm liking it. Usually I would play on like high boost, but honestly I'm sound horning really well on Treyarch mix. So I'm going to keep using it. Uh, hit marker sound enabled, of course, so you know how much damage I put into them. This is all just random voice chat stuff, which doesn't really, it's cool, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, the general subtitles, I personally don't play with subtitles. Maybe in a respawn, I'll turn them on. It just depends how chaotic and hectic the game is, but I don't think I'll be needing subtitles in a game like this, but it could help if you like having them on. So that's all good. And then now to the controller stuff. Six, six, one, 
And then my high zoom still on one. I might change it to 1.10. Yeah, yeah, let's change it to 1.10. Change to 1.10. Tactical flipped and control vibration for sure disabled. I don't know why that was enabled. The ADS speed enabled or aim assist, of course, enabled. But that's for like campaign, I believe. Draving is on aim assist enabled. You, just, you obviously want aim assist enabled. Uh, even outside Beaver, you want to just have it on hold. Toggle is kind of weird with COD. It's always been hold. So that, I guess, is just personal preference, but it's always been hold for traditional COD. And then here's a big one. The left stick, you always want to have zero. The right stick, you want to have five. But unfortunately, my controller right now has some stick drift. So I had to raise this up a little bit to 10 to try and stop the stick drift. Uh, I probably raise it up to 15. I'm not even going to lie. But yeah, it's when I get a fresh controller, I'll be playing on zero left. Uh, five on right and this will be nine 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 for the max auto move forward disabled auto sprint disabled certain behavior uh toggle print cancel reload disabled parachute all that stuff uh you can have like this stuff in warzone interact the reload behavior but in multiplayer i like to have it on tap or i like to have it yeah on tap to reload instead of the other ones where you hit it once and then like you open doors and pick guns up and all that stuff this is all your connection stuff which isn't super important but that is my pc settings for uh, Black Ops Cold War. Now time to show you or talk to you guys about the PS4 and Xbox settings. Unfortunately, I don't have my PS4 with me, but my editor sent me some pictures of the PS4 settings and I remember what I was using and what I would be using if I was on PS4 or Xbox. So your safe area balance, always wanna scrunch that in to be able to see everything in a smaller box and then it just, front of your screen makes everything easier to see so it's very helpful colorblind that's personal preference my field of view would be 90 if i'm on ps4 if you're on ps5 you could probably go up a little bit i would still have affected field of view and then for uh, motion blur always disable motion blur brightness is personal preference but i would recommend 50 to 55 max and um then going on from the settings display to the settings in general subtitles as disabled you want to have crosshair shown you want to have hit marker visual shown, damage based hit marker shown, ally health bar shown, enemy health bar shown. Like you want to have all that, the player full name. You want to see the player's full name so the name pops up bigger and you could see them if they're camping in a bush or going through smoke or whatever it may be. Point damage numbers, you can do that too. So you could see like when you're getting the, the points and all that stuff in pubs. So that would be my settings for PS4 and Xbox. I really hope this video helps. Please let me know if it does in the comments down below. Thank you guys all for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. We're back on the grind. I'm loving Cold War. Let me know how you're liking Cold War down in the comments. Have a good day grinding everyone and I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, my name's Attach and I'm out. Peace.